The year is 1971. Intel releases the world's first microprocessor, the Intel 4004. It had only 2,300 transistors and could perform about 92,000 operations per second. Tiny by today's standards, but it was the spark that started the microprocessor revolution. The 4004 led to the Intel 8008, an 8-bit processor that could handle more data and memory. But engineers wanted more speed, more power, and more possibilities. So in 1974, Intel introduced the 8080, the chip that would change everything. Running at 2 MHz with 6,000 transistors, the 8080 became the heart of the Altair 8800, the first computer you could actually own. It inspired an entire generation, including two young programmers, Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who wrote Microsoft's first basic language for it. But behind the 8080 was a brilliant engineer, Federico Fagan. He helped design Intel's earlier chips, but grew frustrated with corporate limits. So he left Intel and created his own company, Zilog. In 1976, Zilog released the Z80, a processor fully compatible with the 8080, but more powerful. It ran faster, had more registers, added new instructions, and even managed memory refresh by itself. It was the perfect upgrade, and quickly became the favorite for early home computers. From the 4004 to the 8080 and the Z80, these tiny chips turned computers from giant machines into personal devices. They didn't just process data, they created the digital world we live in today. 